On the 14th of June 1916, London's Daily Mail highlighted the AIS first action on the Western Front with a joyous picture of our diggers underneath the headline, Anzacs in Flanders. Just days after going to print, Daniel Quinn, one of the mission's Tasmanian diggers, sent a cutout of the article along with a letter home to his mum in Hobart. My dear mother, I suppose by now you've heard of the first raid the Australians have made on the German trenches. I'm proud to say I was one of the men chosen from my battalion. Daniel's proud mum then passed them both onto the Mercury newspaper, who printed a combined article on July 25th, 1916, with the headlines, The Black Anzacs, Tasmanians, Tail from the Trenches, A Strawberry and Cream Interlude. Six weeks later, Private Daniel Quinn was killed in action at Poziers, along with six other raiders. But exactly who made up the rest of these AIF soldiers? Where else in Australia did they come from? Why were they nicknamed the Black Anzacs? And why were they sent to England for VIP strawberries and cream treatment? On Monday, June 6, 2016, exactly 100 years to the day of this historic Anzac centenary event, son of Black Anzac, Doug Walsh, will launch his limited edition book, The Black Anzacs, the AIF's first trench raid on the Western Front, at Victoria Barracks, Brisbane, the home soil of his AIF's 7th Brigade. At only $35 per copy, the content of which has been reviewed as the amount of research and individual bias of the participants is very detailed and the way Doug developed this book from the unnamed image on the cover is remarkable. With all book profits to be donated, this is an Anzac centenary event you'll be proud to have been a part of.